Good morning, welcome to another Teas I Drink in a Day video. I'm Stacy, and this is As Tea Brews. Today I am starting with this Bohemian Breakfast Tea from Magic Hour. I only have one scoop left in this bag. This was just a one ounce bag that I ordered from them and I've really, really been enjoying this tea. I like this tea a lot. It has, um, let me see if I can focus on the ingredients. Direct trade organic black teas, organic pu'er tea, organic black currant fruit, natural pomegranate flavor, natural vanilla bourbon flavor, and it is just really delicious. And I don't add anything to this, but of course you could add honey or sweetener or milk or anything you wanted to this. I just drink it plain, and I am using a little, um, I guess it's a gaiwan, but it has a little handle on it that I got from Magic Hour. I just thought this little teapot was so cute. And it comes with a basket that is almost the same size as the teapot itself. So the leaves have plenty of room to expand in there. And then I'm just using this cup I use pretty much every day, several times a day. Um, this is a teacup from David's Tea. And I think it holds about 10 to 12 ounces maybe. Um, maybe about 10 or 11 ounces. I haven't actually measured that, but it's just the perfect size for me. And I love to use it because when I brew my tea in a separate pot and then pour it in, it cools down a lot quicker so I can drink the tea quicker and um, have more tea throughout my day. So this is what I'm having this morning and I'll be back in a few. Okay, so I am having a second cup of this Bohemian breakfast and I just added some more hot water to my tea leaves in my little teapot. So I will let that steep for another three minutes and then I'll drink that one. So I just finished shoveling a few inches of snow and um, I need a little warmer. So I'm going to have some of this Hojicha cinnamon raisin bread pudding tea from Dessert by Deb. And this is a roasted green tea and it's got delicious raisins and cinnamon and it is super super yummy so i'm gonna make i'm gonna have a cup of this and then i'm just setting my alarm for three minutes and then i am going to have my shake um, i like having a shake a protein shake with um, fruits and or veggies for breakfast um, to get me going so that's what that's the plan right now and i'll be back later to show you what else i have so I'm having lunch and I'm having some stir-fried bok choy, mushrooms, cabbage, and noodles, and tofu, and it is delicious, but um, I like adding lots of hot sauce and, you know, garlic and ginger and everything, and um, so it's a little on the spicy side. So I'm actually making, and this has been one of my favorites lately to have with lunch, if I have like an Asian lunch. Um, this is ginger and lemongrass matcha, and this is from Tea Angle. And I did a review, um, unboxing review, a while back on this. And this one already has stevia in it. And so you, it's sweet. And they, this has, the ingredients are Japanese matcha, ginger, lemongrass, and stevia. And I normally don't love things with stevia, but somehow this works in this. And I haven't had it hot, but I really enjoy it iced. And so I just did a perfect matcha spoon of that in this cup and I don't know I'd say this is about a 10 ounce cup I love this little cup it's the year of the dragon cup because that is the year I was born and um, I got this from world market cost plus world market and I just think it's super cute and so I'm just going to add a little bit of water and then I'll add some ice and I will sip on my nice cool matcha while I have my lunch okay so I've added about halfway full with water and I'll just use my little hand blender to mix it up. And this matcha mixes up really easily. Let's get it nice and combined. And then I have some ice here. All right, there we go. My iced matcha to enjoy with my lunch. Okay, so I've had lunch and now I have cleaned everything up. I've done some chores and I am going to have a cup of tea. I want a pu'er. I'm not sure which one I want right now. Um, so I'm gonna take you to the pantry with me. Uh, some of my favorite pu'ers are from Old Barrel Tea Company. 
but I struggle because I don't want to keep drinking those and then use them all up and be out of them. And so I'm not sure what I want to um, pick yet. I have a few pu'ers, but not a lot of them. So let's go in there and see what there is. See what I feel like having. Okay, so any pu'ers I have would be in this little area. Um, I don't know. Maybe I want an oolong. I don't know. Let me see. Okay, so let's see. Those are not... Okay, so I have s'mores chai from David's Tea, which I really like. Bumbleberry Burst which from David's Tea, which smells kind of funny dry, but it actually tastes really good, but it's a fruity pu'er. Um, so I'm not sure if I want that one. I need more pu'ers, I think. Um... Yeah, and then I guess the main ones that I have are from Old Barrel Tea Company because I've got the Christmas Cabin, I've got Pineapple Upside Down, Coffee Cake, and then these are two different blends that have Pu'er in them. One is, um, they're both actually Roybus and Pu'er, and these were in their Tea Club boxes, Bourbon Brew and Pecan Pie Pu'er, and Irish Pu'er and Bourbon Brew, and I like both of those a lot. Um, I guess these other ones I have over here are black teas. I think I got these out of order just a little bit. Also in the afternoon, like after lunch, sometimes I'll have like a, an oolong. So I've got a few, a few oolongs that I really like. I have the salted caramel oolong from David's Tea, which I believe they still have, which is, I'm almost out of, but it's really good. I've got the vanilla orchid oolong, which is a nice light vanilla floral oolong and the cinnamon bun chai which I absolutely love 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 but I only have a couple cups left and they do not carry this one anymore and that makes me really sad um and then of course one of my favorite oolongs is this peppermint cream which is milk oolong peppermint and cocoa shells okay I had a hard time deciding so I went with the s'mores chai from David's Tea. I love this tin. It's um, from a couple of years ago and it's got a little fox on it. It's a fall um, season tin and it kind of goes with some of the mugs that we have. And here is the tea. It has pu'er, let me see, brittle pieces, cinnamon, sugar, marshmallow, um, chocolate chips and natural and artificial flavoring. So this is not the most natural tea, but it is delicious. Um, and I like that it's kind of a little bit smoky and sweet and chocolatey. And it's um, a really nice tea that kind of tastes like a dessert to me, but I wouldn't drink it at night just because of the caffeine content. Um, the reason I like to have a pu'er after I eat is that pu'er is really good for your digestion. And so, I tend to choose those a lot after lunch. Um, but looking at my selection, I feel like I need more pu'ers. Raise your hand if you think I need more tea. <laughs> Drop below your favorite pu'ers um, in the comments. And um, I feel like I might need a couple new ones. I don't know. The one I had this morning, the Bohemian Breakfast from Magic Hour, is actually a black tea pu'er. Um, but I tend to drink that one in the morning. Maybe it's because it says breakfast in the name. I don't know. I only have one more cup of that one. And so that's one that's going to go on my list of ones to restock at some point. But I feel like I've got to use up some things before I do that. So I have my tea steeping and I steep this one for five minutes. And I'm using my little... A lot of you have asked about this teapot. This is... Um, I think that the brand was like Kinto, K-I-N-T-O. And this is um it's on amazon and it was about 30 dollars give or take a couple dollars depending on the day you know how amazon prices kind of fluctuate so um i love this little teapot and i don't fill it up quite all the way because that's about the perfect amount to fit into my favorite teacup um which i will pour this into in just a couple minutes so that is what i'm gonna have and um the rest of today is gonna be a little bit busy driving some kids around and doing things um but I'll probably try and sneak in one more afternoon cup in between kind of carpools and then, um, of course, tonight before bed.
And maybe I should have something different than late digestive just to keep you guys guessing and what, what you think I might have. So um, I have one in mind that I really, really like. So maybe I'll have something different. So, all right, I'll be back in a little bit to show you what I have next. Okay, so I'm about to head out to pick up Abby. I just got back with Joshua and I am going to take a cup of tea to go and I'm going to have a cup of the cinnamon bun chai from David's Tea. I really, really would love for them to bring this tea back. This is so yummy, very strong cinnamon and I love it. It's cinnamon, oolong tea, ginger, cocoa butter chips, carob chicory root, natural cinnamon flavoring, black pepper, cloves, and cardamom. So um, it's very spicy and delicious. So I am just going to put some in my teapot and I have, I think I have maybe about two more cups worth, two more small cups or one giant mug left of this tea. And that is going to be a sad day when it's all gone, but I'm going to brew it at an oolong tea temperature for just four minutes. Okay, so it is now evening. We have eaten dinner and we are going to settle down and do a crossword puzzle and hang out before hitting the hay. The girls and I all want tea. So I, like I said earlier, I am not having lay digestive, but Ellie wants lay digestive. So we are putting the girls tea in these steepers. Um, I forgot what they're called. Gravity steepers maybe where you just, after the tea is ready, you set it on the mug and the tea pours out the bottom. Um, and the reason we do that, we like to do that is because when you steep it in your mug, like this one that I have from David's tea that says drink tea, be happy. It's super cute, but it makes the mug really hot to steep the tea in there. So the mug is hot and the tea is hot. And when we do it in a separate steeper and then put it into another mug, it cools it down just a little bit so um, they can hold it and drink it a little more quickly. So we are going to make Ellie's Lay Digestive and this one is from David's Tea and I like doing this one for 10 minutes. I should probably get that one going because that one will be the longest steep, I believe. So we will pour some water and I will set a timer for 10 and then we will start our other teas. Okay, so that one is started. <clears throat> Ellie want, or Abby wants to try this oatmeal chocolate chip cookie herbal tea from Dessert by Deb. And this is the only tea from Dessert by Deb that we have that is caffeine free. And so that's why she wanted to try this one. So she's really been enjoying the maple chai sticky buns in her boba tea in the afternoon but before bed she wants to do an herbal so she's going to try this one and this one is honey bush cacao nibs canadian maple cinnamon and dark chocolate and then so she's going to have that one and it says six to seven minutes and then i pulled out three different kind of evening tummy settling teas that i like that are not laid digestive the first one i've been drinking this one a lot and i highly recommend this one this is from the loose leaf and this is called happy intestine and it has organic peppermint and it's all organic. So it's peppermint, chamomile, marshmallow roux, and calendula. And this is a really delicious tea. And then I also pulled out peppermint and ginger from old barrel tea company. And I think those are the only two ingredients, dried peppermint leaves and ginger root pieces. And then also from old barrel tea company, I have this tea called Cleanse, and this is a really nice one. Also, this has milk thistle, burdock root, green rooibos, cinnamon bark, peppermint leaves, dandelion root, and lemon balm. I think I'm going to go ahead and have the Cleanse tea tonight from Old Barrel Tea Company. So I will add that to my steeper, which is in the David's Tea Mug. And this one says to brew it for five to ten minutes. So. I have, let's see, seven minutes left on my timer for the lay digestive. And so I'll just go ahead and steep these teas for the rest of that timer. Okay, and that is our teas we drink in a day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.